Brace yourselves. Comedy DVDs, part one. Ahoy hoy everybody and welcome to part one of a look at my comedy DVDs. There's a heck of a lot of these. Basically I have a whole shelf more or less devoted to them. Dot Who's at the bottom, Buffy's just above that but two thirds of it are comedy DVDs. It's pretty much as much as I had, probably more than I had in Blu-ray and close to the DVDs. Anyway, um, so what's in here? Comedy. Live comedy, stand-up, uh, sitcoms, sketch shows, some comedy films, primarily comedy films that have spun off from TV shows. Uh, that's pretty much it, but there's a few anomalies in there which we will, we will come to as we go through these. So, no more ado. Obviously, no, um, I was going to say no box sets, but there is even some box sets, so I won't say no box sets. Let's just carry on. Oh, carry on. Can't carry on. I haven't started. Let's just start. So first up, we have Fist of Fun Series One. Love Fist of Fun. Love Lee and Herring. Uh, Stuart Lee, Richard Herring. Double Act. Since Split, Stuart Lee has become the stand-up stand-up. Richard doesn't get the credit he's deserved. He's a great stand-up. He does some great internet stuff. Um, he did recently win Taskmaster, so he's, he's starting to get some TV work again. But Fist of Fun started as a radio show, went to BBC Two. It's, I was trying to think earlier how I would describe Fist of Fun. I suppose it's a sketch show with linking bits, but that doesn't really desert, describe it fully. But it, I suppose it is primarily a sketch show. Um, so this... Basically, BBC would not release Fist of Fun on DVD, so Richard and Stu, together with Chris Evans, not that one or that one, uh, Chris Evans runs Go Faster Stripe, which is a comedy DVD label, which you'll see loads of uh, throughout these videos, and who put this out. They went in a third each, basically, and bought both series of Fist of Fun from a BBC, and have released it themselves. Uh, first off, they released two special edition sets, which is what you're seeing here. Afterwards, they released a, a Just for Shows set for, for them both. Um, they have made their money back, which is good. So this contains all of Series 1, commentary on all episodes from Richard and Stu, uh, additional commentaries by people who are in them, so Ben Moore, Kevin Eldon. Uh, it's got the Leon Herring live show which was a VHS release of a live show in Dublin uh, them sat in Richie's garden reminiscing unbroadcast pilot episodes studio rushes from episode 2 30 minutes studio rushes from episode 4 75 minutes studio rushes from episode 5 86 minutes and from episode 6 81 minutes loads of DVD ROM content uh, Lots of information in the packaging, loads of Easter eggs, brilliant release, as is Series 2. Uh, loads of, again, they don't break it down quite as much on here, but there's 12 hours and 25 minutes of extras plus commentaries on everything, uh, including additional commentary with Kevin Eldon in characters. Uh, it's got Richard Herring's podcast with Stuart Lee on here as well. All sorts of stuff. Um, and there was an issue, and I can't remember what the issue was, but they had to send out another disc too. But I've long forgotten what the issue was. Okay, next we have the very best of Bottom. So this was the first Bottom release on DVD. Um, so this has got Smells, Accident, Digger, Holy and Hole. Uh, and Holy has got an extra five minutes of untransmitted material on it. I have also got all the proper series as well that subsequently came out, but I love Bottom. Don't clip that out and just use it against me. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we have The Goodies at Last. So this was the first DVD release of The Goodies. And this is two discs with Tower of London. Oh, badly, bad typography, red on yellow. Doesn't, not overly visible. Uh, no, I really can't read that. Uh, Kit and Kong, the, good, the Goodies in the Beanstalk, Kung Fu Capers. Oh, let's go inside. It? Ah, it's better inside. Gender Education was the one that I missed. Uh, Kung Fu Capers, Lighthouse Keeping, Loonies, Earth and Asia, and Saturday Night Grease. Uh, it's got a some little excerpts from Bored in Your Mind, which is almost entirely wiped, which is the precursor to the goodies. Uh, you can also have the option of watching the goodies in the beanstalk with a clean no laughter track because it was wasn't recorded in front of an audience it was played to an audience uh has this got commentaries i can't remember if this has got commentaries or not don't think this one has but one of the other ones has uh this has been superseded by the um big network release of the whole series but there's bits on here that aren't on that, so it's well worth hanging on to. And I love the goodies. Uh, Father Ted Series 2 Part 1, I do have all of this. This is separate because I pulled it from my Christmas TV, favourite Christmas TV episodes in 2019. So it's sort of moved to the front of the shelf. Uh, but this has got uh, all five episodes from Series 2 plus a Christmassy Ted. <sighs> it's just, just... Just... Not all five, sorry. Five episodes from... Series 2 plus a Christmas Eve Ted. Um, so it's Hell, Think Fast, Father Ted, Tentacles of Doom, Old Grey Whistle Theft, and A Song for Europe. I love, love, love Father Ted. Watch the first episode when it went out. We watched it en masse, me and my university housemates. And we all loved it, and we taped it, and we watched it over and over again. And yeah, just love Father Ted. Uh, this is Count Arthur Strong's Forgotten Egypt. So this is a live DVD uh, put out fairly recently, but the actual show is from 2002. It's good. I love Count Arthur Strong. It's probably my least favourite of all his releases. Although he's got the character, the material isn't quite there yet. There's some hilarious bits, but it's lacking a certain something. Uh, speaking of, this is The Sound of Mucus, so this is his tour from uh, 2017, which I did see. This is brilliant, basically. Uh, I was just checking whether this is one of, I have a few of his signed, but this isn't one of them. But yeah, um, yeah, just absolutely hilarious. We have Holy Flying Circus. So this is a it's a, a comedy drama. I think it was on BBC Four, and it's based around the um, controversy around Life of Brian. So it's based on true events, but given a twist, a Python esque twist. But yeah, really good, really well done, good cast, Darren Boyd, uh, Steve Punt, Rufus Jones, Phil Nicholl, Stephen Fry. Enjoy that a lot, well worth having in the collection. This is an excellent DVD, this is the very best of Have I Got News For You. So this was the first DVD release of Have I Got News For You. Uh, it's got over three hours of best of, basically over two discs, with a commentary from Ian and Paul, which is very good as well. Uh, and plus loads of extra bits on there. You can have a, a um, trivia text going through the whole thing. Uh, room, Terry Rogan putting Have I Got News For You into Room 101. Tributes, Memories and Contempt. Various people giving their verdicts on Have I Got News For You. Uh, all sorts of extras on it, but yeah, really excellent release. Uh, this is Are You Dave Gorman? So this is a release of the TV show 
that Dave did for BBC Two based on his uh, Edinburgh show, which obviously then subsequently toured, and his book, uh, I Am Dave Gorman. Is that what it's called? Ah. No, oh, God, my mind has gone completely. No, it was called Are You Dave Gorman? Ah, that's what's, that's what's confusing me. Right. They've entitled this Are You Dave Gorman, but the TV show is actually called The Dave Gorman Collection, which is what well, it's named on my spine. That's why I'm getting confused. Uh, but it's based on his book and Perio... Was it Perio? Perio nominated show. Are You Dave Gorman? Anyway, <laughs> so basically, he was bet by his then flatmate, um, Danny Wallace, that he couldn't find more uh, a, another Dave Gorman for every card in a pack of cards plus jokers. So 54 Dave Gormans. And he travelled the world basically meeting... He had to actually physically meet them. And he travelled the world meeting other Dave Gormans. And it's just a brilliant, brilliant show. Uh, that was a limited release that Dave sort of sorted. Uh, this is Milton Jones, Lion Whisperer Live. Love Milton Jones. He's hilarious. He's a, if you don't know him, he does puns, basically. But he's just so, so funny. I do find, I've seen him live, and he was brilliant live, and, it, you know, the hour he did or whatever it was worked there. I do find watching him on DVD you flag a bit where it's pum 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 um you sort of peek and trough through it i watched this whilst i was washing up over the course of a week you know stick it on while i'm washing up continue watching the next day so on and so forth and it worked so much better but don't let that put you off brilliant very funny we have uh, Les Dawson at ITV, the specials, a free disc set from Network. So this contains uh, his specials, nine specials, including two Christmas specials and four editions of Dawson and Friends and Dawson's Electric Cinema, plus various specials. I find Les Dawson very funny. He does tend to repeat material across his shows which diminish some of them and it's not always you know I'd say in an hour long show I'd probably 20 minutes of strong material 20 minutes of okay material and 20 minutes of filler but that's enough for me to enjoy you'll see more Les coming up uh, this is series one of Inside Number Nine I've spoken about Inside Number Nine already because I have some of it on Blu-ray but the early series were on DVD and then they went back to DVD only initially, but um, the powers that be persuaded them to release it on Blu-ray as well. Anyway, so this is Steve Pemberton and Reese Shearsmith from A League of Gentlemen. They did, then did Psychoville and then Inside Number 9. So they're standalone stories, half-hour stories, each one set inside Number 9. So Room Number 9, House Number 9, uh, Train carry compartment number nine, hotel room number nine, etc, etc. The myriad ways they've used that has been really impressive. Uh, so this was the first series, really, really good, really excellent actually. Uh, loads of special guests, uh, Helen McCrory, Gemma Arterton, Catherine Parkinson, Una Chaplin, Julia Davies, Anna Chancellor, Anne Reid, Tamsin Gregg, Julian Rin Tut. Yeah, really strong ones. Just... They're all excellent. We have the Fast Show Series 3. So again, uh, I got this out because I needed to use it. I don't think this was a Christmas special. I think I used this for a quiz. I had to get a clip from it. Um, but yeah, love the Fast Show. Really strong stuff. Throughout its run. And I have them all on DVD. But that does contain a 70 minute Christmas special. Uh, and we'll end this part I think with Al, Murray, Al Murray's Happy Hour Series 1. So Al Murray, the pub landlord, is the character. Al Murray is the performer. Um, 
this was his sitcom he did in character as a pub landlord. Not sitcom. Um, chat show. That was the word I'm looking for. Or words. For ITV. Really good. The way you take the piss out of the guests would be excellent. Always had really good bands on there as well. Uh, this has got Donny Osmond, Len Goodman, Shane Warne, Buzz Aldrin, Mylene Class, Jason Donovan, Emma Bunton, Jodie Kidd, Amanda Holden, Martin Kemp, James Cracknell, Jerry Springer, Major James Hewitt, Jermaine Jackson, Louis Walsh and David Coulthard, in, amongst others as guests. Uh, also got additional staff, unseen stand-up, etc. in there. Really good. You'll see more of this. Okay, that will do for part one. Uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for future parts. It's going to be a hell of a lot. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Thanks.